Damn. Hey guys, today we have a polished turd lined with jewels. Enter the gorgeous FN509C Tactical Striker Fired Handgun. Weighing in at 1.6 pounds unloaded, it has an overall length of 7.4 inches, a height of 5.3 inches without optic, 5.75 inches with optic, and a width of 1.35 inches. It comes with a threaded half by 28 barrel that changes the barrel length from 3.7 inches to 4.32 inches, which gives it an overall better performance. The 509C has an adjustable backstrap, which allows the firearm to be personalized to different users. This model comes fully packaged with suppressor high Trichcon night sights and side caps to protect it from potential bumps that may knock the rear sight out of place. FN even came out with a low profile optics mounting system to allow for various different types of optics to be installed. On top of those features, FN even made the whole firearm completely ambidextrous. They were even nice enough to come out with one 12 round mag, 15 round mag, and even a 24 round mag in a beautiful canvas FDE case. It's everything you would ever want in an EDC compact handgun, and then you buy it, and then you shoot it. And then you cope with your buyer's remorse and spend more money to try to make it better. And then you switch back to your Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS. I wanted so badly to like this gun. Aesthetically, it is absolutely gorgeous. Between the mixture of FDE, burnt bronze, and a touch of black accents, the pronounced slide serrations, the aerodynamically sharp edges, and curvature giving it that sleek macho vibe, the deep enhanced grip textures coupled with subtle and not too overblown FN logos blended into the design, it just looks and feels like they put a lot of effort into making this thing as beautiful as possible. And then they just decided to overcomplicate the actual function of the firearm and leave a bad taste for the user. We'll start with the pros since the list is shorter. The 509C has a relatively low bore axis. The grip angle and grip texture make presentation and follow-up shots a breeze theoretically. When reading the manual about the optics mounting system, it says specifically not to use thread lockers due to it not requiring it thanks to the rubber o-ring which supposedly self-locks the optic and general aesthetics that we just covered. And now the cons. We'll start with overall specifications, then performance, and lastly, reported known issues with the 509C Tactical specifically. Depending on the model, you will have either the plain 509C that comes with everything from three mags, different optics plates, two recoil springs, and a manual. Or if you went with the option that came with the Vortex Venom, it will only come with the mags and no additional optics plates or screws besides the one that's already attached. Here's the issue. The Vortex Viper Red Dot is pre-installed onto the system and the pistol has suppressor height sights for co-witness. The Viper has locking nuts towards the rear of the optic to maintain zero. However, you cannot reach those locking screws with the sight configuration. So naturally, you would go out and buy an adapter for an RMR type footprint because that setup is just awful. This is where you start running into issues. FN parts are always out of stock and only a handful of people sell them. It took me months before I finally received an email that the plastic optics plates came back in stock and lo and behold, we run into another issue. Unlike most firearms companies, FN decided that it would be a great idea to require that you can only use proprietary countersunk screws to mount specific optics to their slide. What does this mean? It means that I waited another few months for those screws to come back in stock to purchase. It was absolutely top tier inconvenience. Remember a few minutes back when I said FN specifically states not to use thread locker to mount the screws? Yeah, no, the optic will most definitely come loose again, even with all OEM parts and correct torque specs. If something sounds too good to be true, then it oftentimes is probably too good to be true. After about 500 rounds, my optic came loose in the dirt and that O-ring is with the gravel now. So guess what I did? You guessed it, I bought another OEM O-ring as to not void the warranty. I have since put a drop of blue Loctite during the new install and a thousand rounds later, it's finally holding zero without play. The biggest issue with the 509C is the trigger. For the price you pay for the great name of FN, you would expect them to come with at least a smoother trigger, but instead you get a gritty hinge trigger that has a sloppy and heavy seven pound break. 
One would expect it to get better over time, but it really doesn't. It was bittersweet to purchase an Apex trigger to swap it out, and long behold, you run into another issue. The trigger pins on the 509 are so tight that if you decide to swap it out or perform maintenance, and then you will need a specific jig to knock the pins out without bending them. Once you decide to purchase those, then you'll run into the ridiculously overcomplicated trigger block. With all those parts and components, you would assume that it would be a better performing trigger, but again, it does not. The Apex made the overall trigger noticeably better, but not by too much. The FN trigger system for the 509C is just destined to not be great even after being broken in. Now in terms of known reported issues with this gun, I'll just highlight a few more common ones that I've seen these past few years that may or may not have been fixed yet. The main one being the firing pin breaking. A lot of people reported that the firing pin either broke after a few hundred rounds of use, or more concerningly, after a few sessions while dry firing. With most modern firearms, it's generally okay to dry fire without snap caps with no damage to the firearm. I'm not quite sure how a big name like FN who made the perfect FNX45 can manufacture such crappy parts for the 509. Apex sells upgraded strikers to eliminate that issue, but at this price point you should not have to. The last one is cracks in the frame while replacing the trigger. This one is definitely not wholly FN's fault, but instead user error. Inexperienced users will have a heavy hand and bludgeon the pins out instead of doing frequent lighter taps with a hammer when replacing the trigger. But again, that is uh, somewhat of a uh, pin issue and a user error issue as well. Just to recap, the 509C is a very comfortable EDC weapon and is loaded with aesthetically pleasing features that not only function well, but also feel great in the hand. In terms of the cost for the performance, I could not recommend something else fast enough. Being a firearm that retails for $750 to $900, you should definitely be getting a much better firearm. Thank you all for sticking around for this long. As a reward, I'll offer you a discount code for 10% off any order on amphibiancustoms.com. Once again, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.